JMBC, it's Kat. Welcome back. I'm here with another cardio kickboxing and more video, this time for your spring break 2022. So in this class, what you're going to see is a mix of a lot of cardio kickboxing movements today um, with a little bit of weight training as well, and then a core specific base movement that we'll do on the floor. Um, you are gonna be working your core this entire class, so keep that in mind, um, that you are getting a great core workout along with the cardiovascular and the strength workout as well. Um, so that being said, make sure you have a nice clear space, uh, good pair of sneakers on, tie or double tie your laces so that you don't have to pause mid-workout. If you got hair that you feel is gonna get in the way, tie it back. Have either, um, Trying to see what weights I have here. Have a set or two of weights handy so that you can kind of trade out. Um, I'm just going to be using my fives today. I had a baby a few months ago, so I'm still working my way back up to that strength. And then a bottle or a glass of water and some towels handy as well so you can wipe off any sweat. Um, as with any workout, always listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to. You can always check in with your physician to make sure it's right for you. Other than that, get a playlist going, something on Spotify, Pandora, anything that you have. I'm not going to have any music playing, so if you need something to really get you motivated, click that now, and we're going to start this workout. So we're going to start up with a warm-up. Take shoulder rolls back, opening up your chest. You might hear any snap, crackle, and popping, depending on how rounded over you get during the day. This workout is under 30 minutes, so we really try to get it done, get the most bang for our buck, and it doesn't take up too much time of your day to get physical, get moving, do something really awesome for your body and your mind and your soul as well. All right, we're going to take some side steps to the side, right and left. Think about switching which arm you have coming on top. Stepping out to the side. So now we're warming up laterally, side to side movements. So outer thighs, inner thighs. So opening up the chest, the shoulders, through the back as well, and the core. All right, give me four, three, two, knees up, right, left, knee, knee. Now the best part about this workout, online, pre-recorded, you can pause it whenever you need. So you're probably working out in your home, maybe your dorm room, maybe your office. So distractions, I know they happen. <laughs> I know they happen. So you can always take a quick pause and come back to it. Think about ribs on top of those hips, crunching right in the center. Give me four more, four, three, See, we're gonna change it to glute kickbacks, butt kickers. Purpose is you drive the heel up to your glute, warming up the back of your thigh. So your hamstring now. Cardio kickboxing, guess what? Kick. So we wanna make sure that entire leg is warm. Hip, through the thigh, front and back, down to those calf muscles. And then we just kind of add a little pull for the upper body when we throw those punches. Curl it in. Give me four. Give me three. Give me two. One. Hip openers. Right and left. Boop. Into out. Into out. Crossing through the body. So now we're making sure our hips are nice and warm. You always want to make sure you do some kind of warm up before you get into any kind of workout. You never want to just start working out cold. And you can make these little. Your hips may not be as warm as mine are right now. I've already been up <laughs> with my day, chasing my son around. So, Whew. give me four, three. Two, one, all right. 
Let's kind of throw some punches here. Get low, legs are nice and wide. <sighs> Toes are a little bit turned out. For all of your punches, think. Two fists, thumbs come on top, knuckles outside of the face. You're gonna punch down the center. Notice your hand is gonna rotate. You're gonna look down your center two knuckles as then your palm starts facing toward the floor. Rotating, ball of your foot, turning it in. And just kind of add a little bit of speed to it. You don't have to have too much power. Still just a little part of the warm up. All right. Always exhaling on that punch out and leaving just a little bend in the arm, about 99% extended, a little bit bent to bring it back to you. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump in jacks. Up. Now, if you're like cat, jumping jacks are not in my wheelhouse today. I got you, side to side. You will see them later in the workout. So you can always step one leg at a time. You're still gonna get your heart rate up with those arms coming overhead, all right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you are whoosh, yeah. I'm gonna get a little sip of water. I remembered it today. There's one video. I totally forgot my water. Not today. We got this. All right. So get back to stepping. If you stop stepping, get back to stepping. First movement. Take your legs a little wide. We're going to do four cross punches. So aiming for the side. A knee and a crescent. We're gonna stick right, okay? I got a timer going. You got a little bit of time to set up in five, four, three, two, one. Right side, four, three, two, knee crescent. Knee crescent, again, knee crescent. Four, four, three, two, knee crescent. Knee crescent, again, knee crescent. Four, four, Shh. Knee crescent, up, knee. Knee in, knee in, circle, knee again, circle, yes. Find your opponent, cheek to cheek. Knee in, crescent over, again. Woo, knee, hop, hey. Knee up, knee up, again. Punch, four, three, two, knee crescent, hey. One more time, four punches. Knee crescent, let's go up, hey. Shake it out, shake it out. Whew. All right, we did that for about a minute. <laughs> Next movement, we're gonna do it for about a minute. It's a step back block, front kick, using the ball of your foot. In four, three, two, one. Block, kick, block, kick. Forearm comes up, protects your face. Up, block, kick. Now be careful <laughs> that you do not actually hit yourself in the face when you go for that block, okay? Block, kick, a little more type of ab work. Rotating over to the left as you block. Up, Shh. a little lower. Get into that left leg. Ball of the foot, kick. Now guess what, you can kick low, or you can kick high. How high do you wanna kick? Woo! Four, three, two, one, shake it out. All right, grab one weight. I'm gonna go for a five here. It's gonna be a lunge with a halo. Right leg front, left leg back. Weight up to the chest. It's gonna be three, two, one, halo over to the right, okay? 
hips forward towards me. Three, two, one. Halo over. Lift it up. Three, two, one. Low, low, low. Now a halo is all about your core and shoulder mobility, all right? We're adding that leg work in. But when you do your halo, keep your arms close. Weight comes back under that chin. Front heel, body weight. Three, two, one. Up, front, heel, gets it. Weight comes behind the head. Three, two, one. I think we can fit one more in here. Three, two, one. Oh, shake it out. Oh, these legs. Get yourself nice and low. Two uppercuts, one squat duck. Nice and wide. In three, two, one. Let's go. Two, one, squat up. Up your opponent. An uppercut, you go under the chin. And then they try to get you. But guess what? Won't get me. Up, up. Now, another version of an uppercut is you can go up to the gut. So you choose which one you want to do right here. Either gut or under the chin. I'm going to alternate with both. Your opponent, they're your height. Your frame, so you know exactly what kind of target you're going for. Yes. One more. Oh. Down and up. Check it out. All right, I hate to tell you, it gets more. <laughs> it gets more. Hopefully, your breath quickened a little bit. Okay. I gotta think for a second. All right, we're gonna turn a little bit to the left here. You're gonna take someone's head, slam to your knee three times on that fourth time, pop it. Again, if you don't wanna jump, you can do a little heel lift or just keep with the knee slam, okay? Get down, three, two, one. Three knees, three, two, one, slam. Three, two, one. Now you can do this fast or slow. The more you do, you're gonna poop yourself out a little bit. <laughs> so that left knee is bent. And remember, that fourth one, guess what? You don't have to jump. Three, two, one. One, come on, load the heck out of this left leg. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You got one more in you. Hey, three, two, one. I didn't get very high on that last one. Fast twitch muscle fibers working right there. Keep it going, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel your butt cheek. And your calf muscles on fire. You're doing it right. All right. We are going to start from the top. So, do you remember what we started with? I get to cheat. I have my paper. Four crosses. A knee and a crescent. Twice with that knee crescent, all right? In five, four, three, two, one. Four crosses. Cheeks, cheek. Cheek, two, knee crescent twice. Knee, crescent, knee, crescent. Shh. Knee crescent. Now the beautiful part is after that last movement of those head slams and how we loaded this left leg, you're feeling a stretch when you're doing that knee crescent. That glute gets a little release. Four, three, two, knee crescent, let's go. Last 
Last one. Four. Three. Knee crescent. Bend in the toe. Hook. water if you need it. I'm still good right now. You do you. We've got step back, front kick, as low or as high as you want to go. Four, three, two, step it back. Step, kick, step. Now remember, this is option one. I'm not adding in that rotation over to the right yet. Just kind of figuring out Use your forearm to block, step back, kick, follow that foot, in out. As you want a little more, a little more rotation to the right. Left side's got to pull you back, block. Here's that core sculpting I was talking about. We're not doing a plank. We're not doing a crunch. It is all standing work. Block and kick. Up. Hey, four, three, come on, two, one more. Step side to side. Lunge and crescent. Left leg gets loaded, one weight. Left leg forward, right leg back. Legs are wide, you're on train tracks. Step it back, under the chin. Shoulders down. Three, two, one. Go to the left. In four, three, two, one. Take it down. Three, two, one. Take it around. Up. Three, two, one. Up. Heel, heel, heel. Up. Three, two, one. All right. Hips. Stay facing forward. Elbows, try to stay close to the body. You're gonna end up jacking your hair up. It is okay. <laughs> We're working your core, working that shoulder mobility. Down, down. Working those legs, working those minds. Two, one. Oh, last one. Three, two, one. Oh, weight down. All right. Two uppercuts left. One squat duck. In five, oh, four, three, ah, two, one. My computer wants to be funky. Two, two, down. Up, two, down. Remember, you can go under that chin or to the gut. Either way, you are working your biceps, working those cobras sculpted from all angles. And even more important than the sculpting is the strength and the functionality. Strong core, what does it do? Everything protects your back, protects your spine. Core health can be attributed to everything. Strong core, strong life. So I can feel it's a little more wobbly. 
So guess what I can do? That fourth one, slant it. Three, two, one. But I still want to practice to get stronger in it. One more. Three, two, one. Let's go. Step, step, step. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. If you don't want to do a burpee, watch, okay? Either burpee, squat, shoot back, in, up, uppercut, uppercut, or squat, step back, uppercut, uppercut, and then you'll switch other leg back, okay? <laughs> in four. Three, two, I'll do modified first. Burpee, uppercut two. Burpee, uppercut, burpee. Uppercut right, left. Burpee, uppercut left, right. Burpee, shoot back, in, up, turn those hips. Now your legs can land wide for a little better balance to keep your back from dipping, okay? We've got one more. Oh, hey. All right, step side to side. Catch your breath, catch your breath. That was a lot. So we jump back into a plank there. We're gonna go on our back, grab two weights. So I have two fives. If you don't have two weights, you can do this body weight. You could even do water bottles, soup cans, anything like that. So I'm gonna hold these in my hand. I'm gonna come a little back. You should be able to see me here. Roll on back. All right, feet can either be down on the floor Back is in the mat. Weights are gonna face to the wall behind you. You're gonna crunch and punch. Crunch and punch. When you crunch up, lift onto the elbow toward the way that you're crunching. Gives you a little help with getting up. You want a little more? Legs up, back stays down. Crunch and punch. Exhale. Yes. Exhale. Shh. Exhale. If you don't want to use weights, hands behind the head and lift opposite shoulder, opposite thigh, legs up or down. This kind of helps give you a little more neck support this way. Otherwise, use those weights and keep it going. You can give me four more. Four. Three. Oh, two. One. Weights down, knees into your chest. Roll it side to side. <sighs> Shake it out. Quick, fierce. Sweaty, strong workout right here. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg, stretch through that hip flexor. In the nose, out the mouth. Yes. Switch sides. Left knee in, right leg long. Whew. Feeling good, feeling good. Both knees in again. Side. Uh, roll yourself up 
It's a little bit of a core work right here. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of Pilates core right there. You can have your legs nice and long. I'm gonna roll my weights over to the side here. So legs nice and long, you get a nice deep inhale. And then gently reach for whatever you can. Maybe that's here. Maybe you can go a little further. Maybe you can go towards your toes. Maybe you can reach the bottom of your feet. Up to you, doesn't matter. Even if you can't reach your feet, just try to flex them. Bring your toes towards you to stretch through your calves. Bring it back, up tall. Right foot comes over, sole of the foot down. Hug this knee in, stretch through your IT band, your glute, your spine. You can reach up nice and tall. And then switch, foot down, reach, nice and tall through the crown of your head, feeling all the work that your muscles did, your heart and lungs are a part of that, soles of the feet together, butterfly stretch, knees fall down to the side, you can come a little rounded to get a little deeper in it. We're gonna stretch our back here too, okay? So we're gonna bring ourselves around. Your legs, your knees can be wide. Legs can be wide, toes together. Kind of sit back towards your heels. You can kind of reach long, forehead down into your mat or your towel, whatever you have. Whew. Bring yourself over to an angle, so you're gonna feel a stretch, that opposite lat muscle, your lats work very hard from your punches. Whew. Take it over, stretch through those obliques as well from those blocks that we did. Whew. Bring yourself up. All right, all fours, a little down dog. Knees under um, hips, shoulders over wrists. Curl up, push back into those heels. Ooh, stretching through. Walk your hands back all the way up. Super deep inhale. Exhale. Super deep inhale up. Exhale. Down to your heart. Thank you all so much for joining me today for another cardio kickboxing and more express workout. This one will live on the UMBC Rec TV channel. Please be sure to give us a follow, like, subscribe. If you can even like this video, if you do really like it, leave me a comment. I still have a few more to film, so let me know what you want to see for my remaining videos. Hope you guys have a great spring 2022 semester, and I hope to see you all on campus again in person. Um, otherwise, have a great day. Eat something, stay hydrated. Peace out, retrievers. Bye.